Good morning. Morning. Good morning. Oh, and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs> Hello, yeah. everybody, yeah. and welcome. Morning, Truman. Morning, Spencer. Back to no. Another no. episode. No, no, no. Of no. He won't hurt you. Last Get episode, down. guys, we yeah, had the truck station going. It's just me. All of these on. coal generators going. So we got a decent amount going right now. I did run down. I ran down and I got some Mark II uh, or some more. Uh, what should we call it? Steel. Reinforced steel, but at this point it actually looks like it should be perfectly fine. It should run Smoothly as soon as these all fill up. It'll get all the way down here to the end. So it actually should be perfect. Okay This one connected it is connected. Okay, just make sure that all these were connected Let's go ahead and see what the coal stitch is. I think it's pretty good. Yep All right, what I, I what I want to do first real quick guys is I want to finish up these walls so let me finish up these walls and then we're going to look at automating some modular frames and maybe making a better process for automating reinforced um, steel because as of right now we currently don't actually get very much. So I'm going to go ahead and finish all this stuff up. I'm going to figure out a plan for all the reinforced steel and then I will bring you guys in on it. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright you guys so we got... We got some production going at least, but our main, our main bottleneck that is just going on right now is screws. We're having the biggest problem with screws right now. Make motors and making a steel. So if we can figure out exactly how to make more, if we get more screws being made, I think that'll solve our issues. Which actually looks like we do have a ton of screws being made, but I need to upgrade this. Let's go ahead and upgrade this to Mark II. Now we might be able to see a better difference in how fast this stuff goes. Yeah, now we're actually getting bottlenecked in here, which that is a good thing. That's actually a very good thing. Okay, now we're going to get to the point where this is not going to be able to sustain producing with this. That is still a good start. We'll need to overclock that eventually. Now this is still doing a good job. It's going one to one, one to one, I believe. If I'm not mistaken. Yep, it's just going one to one. That's fine. Perfectly fine. All right, cool, 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 cool. Now we're gonna build up a surplus of those. We already have a ton of plates going on. Now I might need to make a second screw generator. I might just split off from there into maybe another assembler or a constructor right there just to make specifically for this machine. I think that's what I'm gonna do real quick guys. It's actually shouldn't take too too long. So we're actually going to go ahead and deconstruct all of this. Now instead of having that we'll go ahead and connect these two together. We'll eventually mark make that up to mark two but right now we don't even have enough being made we should actually be making two things into it so what that's that's another thing we'll do here in a minute so we need to take this we need a conveyor splitter i'm just gonna go into there this will go back up to there and this is going to go we shouldn't need to get to any of this stuff hopefully at least not as of yet what I actually could do is I could extend all this foundation by a decent amount just so that way we can make another kind of set of uh, constructors. Just need to make enough room for at least one more constructor just, just for now. So that's all we really need. Okay, so we should be lynching off of that, so we can probably make it come from there to this way. Okay, so we are going to do production, and it should be a constructor, correct? Constructor. So we're going to take rods, and we're going to make them into screws. And then we're going to take said rods. And you need to extend this floor out just a bit. Okay. 
So this needs to actually connect up to here. That should be fine. That should work okay. But I don't have power running through this, so let's go ahead and grab some power from, where should we grab? From right there? Okay, now this should now be making screws. Do I have any rods on me? I do, I got 27, but this already can't keep up. So actually, I forgot that, do I have, how much do I have? 22? Let's try to make as much of this into our things as possible. So we're going to get this. Invalid shape. Okay, interesting. So how much more can I make of this Mark II? Can't afford because I don't have enough. Okay. All right, so that should be okay just for a little bit until I can get more plates going. That's mainly my biggest goal is plates. So I think instead of making rotors, I'm going to turn this over into reinforced iron. What, what am I bringing in here? Okay. Uh, so now I need to change this. I actually delete all that because I don't use that. Now we need to bring in plates. So how are we going to do it with plates? Plates, plates, plates. We're going to need probably split right here. Mm, we should bring that closer. And take that out because we don't need iron rods as of yet. Oh, yeah, we do. Don't lie. Okay, so then we should be able to just take this, run all the way up there. Now, hopefully, I mean, it's not going to be perfect. Once we get Mark Three, I think that'll be when it really starts producing. As of right now, it's still not really catching up, but it's it's still doing a good job. It should definitely produce it a bit faster for us. And actually, I can go ahead and actually move this machine back. Production assembler right there. Okay, it's reinforced iron. Let's take this over and we will destroy this, make a conveyor merger. Splitter and murder. Okay. That is in there. That's probably an invalid shape. Yep. Okay. We need inputs. Alright, there we go. Now, this is actually missing power. There we go. Alright, cool. That should be it for a little bit just a little bit cool we're gonna keep this being made for a little while because that's what we need this is actually stacking 
Well, why can't I move? Okay, I couldn't move for a second there. Are these Mark II's? No, these are just regulars. How much steel do I have? I have 26. I can upgrade that to Mark II's. Alright, give me a second, guys. I'm gonna get some stuff together and we will make some stuff more to Mark II. Alright, guys. We got a decent amount. So, let's see. We got all the screw conveyors, both being um, Mark II's. So, now we should be... We should be flowing through stuff hopefully this thing will keep up will this thing keep up i doubt it, it might be pretty close may oh actually maybe it will keep up if this thing can hit 48 before that hits 100 we will be perfect yeah let's go dude so these are both gonna be perfect then all right cool very cool so we already got three which look at that now it takes what 12 seconds to make one that kind of sucks but that is all right so what else can we do right now? Um, let's see. Production. Let's make an. Oh, I can't make an assembler because I don't have modular frames. We do need to make modular frames. Modular frames takes reinforced iron and iron rods. So iron rods. Where are you? You are right there. I can probably split off you, make you come up here, and I'm gonna need an assembler, which is going to need some modular frames. I think it's four. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Okay, assembler. Oh, I'm missing some cables. Okay, actually, we're going to take a stack of 500. We're just going to throw it in here just to get caught back up on some cables. So it's not like we really, really need it. That should eventually catch up, hopefully. Yeah, we're looking beautiful, guys. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright, assembler. Okay, now what do we need in order to make a modular frame? We need reinforced iron and iron rods. Which actually, I need to move this up front if I'm going to do that. So maybe we'll focus this one directly into being made into this assembler so let's go directly into here and this will be filled with iron rods which these iron rods are only mark one how many mark or how many mark dudes can we make we can make only two all right that's fine we need to take this and put it into a splitter Put this, make the rods go there, and then we need to make a pole. I'm thinking right here. Is that too too steep? Okay, maybe we need to move it over a couple. Okay. That'll be alright, and then we can bend it around. Should we bend it around that one? This way. Okay, we need to get up there first, and then we will be able to better make it. Okay. Okay. Now this is going to make modular frames, which is going to take reinforced iron, which we need a power line for this. Yeah, it should be okay now. It'll be accepting reinforced iron. Very good. This is still producing like a madman. We already got 10 in there, and then we're going to get iron rods. That'll be every 15 seconds. We already got 30 of those bad boys. So we are actually going to make, let's make a storage container. So that's all we can do with that for now. All right, we're looking pretty good. What are our numbers looking like? 
number's looking pretty good. It takes 15 seconds, so it's 14 or 4 per minute. That's not ideal. Not ideal at all. I mean, eventually these should catch up. Okay, so what do we, we're still looking good on all fronts, right? All of these. Yeah, we're still looking very nice. Hey, it's actually Arby's holding. Yeah, we're we're good. Okay. All right, now let's go ahead and let's see what else can we make. We could make um, rotors. Rotors aren't really necessarily a big need at the moment. I don't think they are. Because in the thing over here, we need modular frames and we need um, motors. Modular frame and motors. Okay. So I think we're looking pretty good, hopefully. How are we doing with screws, though? This one is still looks like it's stocking up. Oh, it looks like it might actually be just barely holding up, maybe. Okay, it looks like it's taking more than it can actually output, I think. So it goes from 62 to 68. Does it go back down to 62? Goes to 60. Okay, so we're losing basically two. And how's this doing? This is still pretty socked up. We're basically taking one, one per, which is good. Oh, okay, that's because it stops. All right, should we do that? I think we need to add a buffer. I think that might protect it. Oh no, it, it still runs perfectly fine. Alright, yeah, I am, I am worried about it, guys. I'm not worried about it. We should be alright. We should be alright. Now this is making modular frames. We already got eight. So if this is producing... How much is this producing? This is producing five per minute. That'll allow us to do one modular frame a minute. Which kind of sucks, but it's, it is what it is. We're still making good modular frames over here, though. So we're still doing good there. Okay. And we don't really need to do rotors, I don't think. Rotors take rods and screws. If we did rods and screws, I think what we're going to have to do... We would have to split it here. Actually, I don't know why I split it down there. I should have split it up here. Made a whole separate system. Hmm. Alright, yeah. Guys, give me give me a second. I'm going to redesign this real quick to make it a bit more efficient. Make it look better. Make it a bit easier. And then I will get back with you guys. Okay, guys. We should be smoking hot. Let's go ahead and add 100 of those in there. Just to back it up. It's already pretty backed up. Very nice indeed. Okay, we're getting a ton of this accomplished. Very cool. Very cool. So we got we got rotors being made. Let's go ahead and turn this into another storage container. We got rotors, we got modular frames, we got all the stuff and things being made right now. Can we, what else can we automate? I think that's it. We got everything for now. Okay. So let's go down. We're going to do some more research. Do all of this can actually be taken away. Actually, you know what? I'm just I'll burn up the rest of this jewel. 
just because I have so much of it. I, mean, I don't need these anymore, but whatever. Okay, so let's check out our upgrades. Caterium. Actually, let's get these yellow shards real quick. So we need some more steel. Or iron rods. We need more iron rods. Alright, yellow shards unlocked. Fantastic. Yep, power shard number two. Which contains a yellow power slug, which I do not have any because I only found that one and that one was used for research. And actually, research wise, I cannot do any of this stuff. I need more mycelia, I need more carpus, quick wire. I don't even have it unlocked yet. I believe that is with the catarim. Catarim, catarim. Okay, catarim, we need coils, reinforced iron. We need, how, many, how many coils was that? Is that a lot of coils? Okay. All right, guys. I am going to gather yeah, up the rest of the stuff going. for that catarium up. What do you want to know? Why? That I don't have twelve brothers. That I'm a fucking orphan. No, you don't want to hear that. No, you, you don't want to hear that. You don't want to hear that I got it. fucking cigarettes put out of me when I was a little kid. That this isn't fucking surgery. That the motherfucker stabbed me. You don't want to hear that shit, Skyla. Do don't don't, don't tell me you want to hear that I shit. I want to hear it because I want to help you because I help want to be me. with you. Fuck! What do I got? A fucking sign on my back that says save me? No. Do I look like I need that? No, God, I just want to be with don't you because bullshit. I love you. Don't bullshit me. Don't you fucking bullshit me. I love you. I want to hear you say that you don't love me. 